Hey, what's up, guys? In this video, I'm we'll doing top five tech champions in MCUST. And when I was doing this video, uh, when I was making the top five list for tech, I realized that this class is kind of trash, and there's like only a few good characters because Jesus, yeah, it was just not good. So let me start with this number five list. I should find him. Where's this boy at? Oh, there he is. Number five, we got Mysterio. This guy, he's a pretty sick character. He, um, basically the way he works is he's poison immune, and he's basically like a, like a poison dealer, a poison damage dealer, that's what makes him good. And every, um, 18.8 seconds, I do level eight. It's so like, when he's max dupe level, I think it's like every 12 seconds or every eight seconds time, you get the chemical gas. Once he gets three of these, He's at max charges, and you get one chemical gas by ending with a medium um, hit and every combo. So that's cool. You get you can get three way quickly. And then if you heavy attack, it'll do a massive um, poison. But that's not what you really want to do. You really want to. If well, he also has this thing where if he has three of the gases on him, and he ends a combo with a light attack, he puts a passive heal block. So this is insane for healing fights that have like um, masochism or anything or like. Anything where, like, the debuff wouldn't work as well. It's a passive, so it can't be nullified, so it's really good for that. Really good heal buck character. He's also poison immune, all that, and... Um, what you basically want to do with this guy is just get to his special 3. And once he activates his special 3, um, he gains a massive attack rating. And the potency of his poisons are increased by 300%. So for, like, a 10 second period, he's going to be in, like, super damage mode. And if you have 3 chemical gases, you can, like launch your heavy and a massive poison from the enemy so yeah overall mysterio is a pretty cool champion getting him as a, like your first five or six star would not be bad he can carry you to a lot of stuff so yeah next at number four um this character used to dominate the game along with blade and ghost rider that's a dark spider-man this guy is like i don't like playing him personally because his play is kind of weird basically all you gotta do with this guy is just tr keep like swiping back triggering dexterity and for every dexterity you trigger it'll give you a poise charge and you get up to 10 of these charges and each poise charge makes your, your damage hit like crazy where is it each grant of poise grants 300 attack rating when you get 10 of these it's like this guy hits like a truck you get him at rank 5 as a 5 star you get 10 poise charges those crits are like doing like 10k a hit and all that it's crazy 10 12k I don't know exactly the numbers only problem with this guy is his lack of utility basically he has a evade mechanic so that wait where is it so when he has a stark tech ai active um it can go inactive if you get hit by a cosmic or take a heavy attack um when they throw a special attack you have a chance you have a 60 percent chance to evade the special so it's pretty good for that if you mess up there's a good chance to evade and then once you launch your special so you put um two shock uh, a few shocks in the opponent and does a crap ton of damage but he is a spider character, so his health pool is on the low side, only 14,300. But yeah, this character, he's just pretty much a beast. I mean, just damage wise. And then on his heavy attack, I think every 30 seconds he has an EMP charge. I think it's called, I could be wrong. And if you launch the heavy, it's like a massive power drain. So if you ever get him in a special three by accident, you get a heavy off, you get power drain him, so that's cool. And this special one also has a 100% chance to stun. So for like power reserve nodes, you can just cheese them super easily. Now going to number three, and this is a champion that he started coming to light recently, more than he has before. Um, Doctor Octopus. This guy is pretty insane. He um the way he works is he has three breakthroughs, and one's a heal block, one's an armor, and one's a power lock. So you're pretty much just going to use the power and heal lock, and you can constantly siphon back their healing in power. So there are fights and there's a the new um, the tech variant. There's a path with like crazy power gain fights, and I think he's like one of the only characters who can deal with them like well, because when they gain passive um what's it called power gain passive power gain it goes it charges up his um, breakthrough the power lock one and once it gets to a hundred it'll power lock them. So and those fights where they have crazy power gain he power locks them super quickly. And what you could do is you could literally just get him in the corner parry heavy. It'll um, trigger the breakthrough, deal a crap ton of damage, and, and then since they're re still gaining passive power, uh, it'll re-trigger the 
power lock again. So you could just constantly heavy in the corner, and it's just this crazy damage. This guy also has really high block proficiency, I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong, but I think he has really high block proficiency. Yeah, 63%. Maybe not, but his parries are normally zero, which is cool. And yeah, he's just a really cool kid. And there's a way you can play him, which you can get a perm. It's usually really aggressive, but you can get a permanent power lock and heal block on the opponent. So yeah, he's just a really cool character. And with the pa constant power lock, he's... I've seen him be used against um, Havoc and the Abyss, so yeah, he deserves the number three spot in my mind. So the number two character, number two and number one, you guys could probably guess if we put Skim on enough, but he's the, the only character I don't have right now, Warlock. Dude, this guy is a beast. He, he Basically the way he works, is he's, he's a robot, so he's bleed and poison immune. He could also be cold snap immune, frostbite, I think he is. Could be wrong on that one, but he, this guy, what makes him good is every one of his hits, he plays a passive, I think it's like a virus, something like that, on the opponent. Once you get 20 of them, it um, activates this thing, it, like reduces all ability accuracy by 100, and they can't heal. So it's like a passive heal block again. Great for heal fights. His heavy attack puts a massive bleed on the opponent, and I've seen him be used against the. 6.3 Medusa boss, the Do You Bleed one, so he's insane with that. This guy's just a utility god, he can shut down like 85 to 90% of the, like, the hardest fights in the game right now. He's just a solution for. He also has an arm, armor up buff, so he's Havoc immune. I mean, this guy is. You know, once you get your special too, he, just most fights are dead. This guy's one of the best characters in the game, or at least easily top 10 in the game, I would say, probably. This dude's definitely a tank. He can, like, most challenging fights, he can do. It's just, it's crazy the way he works. Um, yeah, so Warlock's definitely number two in my mind. He would easily be number one if it wasn't for this one character that just dominates the contest. Arguably number one in the game. Ghost, I mean, you guessed it. Ghost, easily number one character in the game. If... If she wasn't a tech character, I think the tech class would be pretty terrible because then it would just be Warlock pretty much. So what makes Ghost amazing? Um, everything about her. Her damage, amazing. Her ability to phase. So when she swipes back, you phase. And you get a precision passive, so your next hit is guaranteed to be critical. And while phasing, they have a 100% chance to miss. And any damage over time on you, she changes into a massive fury. So she's insane for like, she's insane for fights like Biohazard, bro. You get like a few bleeds in you, you just swipe back, turn them all furious. You're critting massively, and then her phase hits can't be missed. They're evaded or, or they can't be evaded. They can't be missed. So she's not good for like Ebony Maw, but if when she heavy attacks, you have a chance to get a Fury and Cruelty um, buff on you. So she's just hitting insanely hard. She's one of the highest attack in the game. And then mixed with the wasp and hood synergy. So the hood synergy, when she's phasing, she takes no damage. So you um, put her hood on the team, swipes back. Like you get an enemy to a special three, you just swipe back, and then they throw it, and you don't take any damage. So she can just survive special attacks for days, for special threes. And then with the wasp synergy, all um, like special attacks are unblockable while phasing. So basically what we want to do is swipe back and then swipe back to phase and then hit your special attack at the same time. And all three of the hits for the special two or special one will be unblockable and they'll all guarantee crit. So most fights just die after you get your special two pretty much. And Ghost, she's just like, she can survive special threes. She's fully debuff immune. She can phase any debuff in the game. It's just amazing. You can convert it into massive damage. Her damage output's insane. It's just like... There's not many fights she can't handle, really. And they're making a lot of... But the reason they've been making a lot of anti-ghost characters, but still, 95% of the fights in game, she can do. She is an absolute force of nature. I would say the best character in the game, probably, yeah. I mean, there's, like, nothing she can't really do. I mean, I don't, I don't even know what to say. Like, I mean... You've probably heard her. She's just the best character. She just is. So, yeah. Tell me what you guys think of this list. Um, you write in your comment if you have a different list or if you agree or disagree. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.